Welcome back to Weird Stuff in a Can. Today's Weird Stuff in a Can is birch water. So yeah, I always feel a little bit guilty presenting you things on Weird Stuff in a Can when it's not a metal can. However, this is a can of drink. It just happens to be made of waxed cardboard or plastic and cardboard rather than metal. So this is a can of drink, it's a can of birch water. It's pure organic, straight from the tree. It's, uh, yeah, so it's been tapped from a silver birch tree, or some kind of birch tree. I really, really like this design, actually, where they've made the carton look like the trunk of a silver birch tree. I like that. Let's have a look. So, from the Nordics to the Baltics and beyond, birch water for centuries has traditionally been enjoyed as a purifying and revitalizing tonic, natural goodness tapped straight from the tree. So this contains 15% of your daily manganese. Uh, no added sugar except it is just sugar water from the tree. Um, all natural ingredients. Lots of kind of nature's goodness type of stuff on the back of here. But let's be realistic, this is sugar water that goes up inside of a tree. It's tree juice and it's just sugar water. And any kind of health benefits that are touted about tree sap and so on need to be taken with a pinch of salt because Tree sap is just mostly water, and secondly, a little bit of sugar. And I'll tell you how we can know that for sure, is I don't know if, like me, you have the misfortune to have to park your car underneath a tree, and in spring and summer, you suffer little sticky dots all over your car. That's, those sticky dots, a lot of people say, oh, it's the tree sap coming out. Actually, that's aphid poo on your car. And aphids, in order to survive, have to suck the sap of trees and excrete most of the sugar and water undigested just in order to get the minerals and protein that they need to survive. So when people say tree sap is really nutritious and it's full of minerals and stuff like that, well it's not exactly untrue but don't pin too many hopes on this being the tonic that's going to bring you back into perfect health. It's actually just mostly sugar and water. So what else can we say? So uh, there's a lot of waffle on the back here. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just put that up here and pause the video if you want to read any of that. Okay. Um, final thing to say is that it's got this kind of Nordic, they've used bits of the Nordic alphabet here and <laughs> I don't think that says tapped anymore. It's meant to be tapped, but written in kind of Nordic characters. But actually, as far as I understand it, this variation of the character A is actually pronounced O, and this is a soft D. So I think if we were to pronounce that truthfully as it's written there, it would be Tolpth, or Tolpth. This D is like a cross between a D and a Th sound, so it's th, something like that. Anyway, my tongue can't wrap itself around these things, so anyway, I think it's meant to be called tapped. That's a trademark, and I guess they're just using those letters as a style. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's open this up and have a look. So there's a kind of foil seal on there. I don't know if that's meant to peel off or something, but I'm just going to cut into that. And then pour out a glass of birch water. So it looks like water. It looks like kind of sugar water really, which is exactly what it is. There's something about it, and I'll drop the camera down so that you can have a look. Ever so slightly cloudy, and conspicuously higher refractive index than water. It's just doing a weird lens thing, much more so than water would do. And that must be just the sugar content, the density from the sugar content. So let's have a smell. It smells very faintly like birch timber actually, so it smells like a birch tree. Let's taste. Not conspicuously sweet at all. It's actually just like water that's slightly tree flavoured. Actually, that's more refreshing than I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be sweeter than that. Now, that's interesting. I thought that was going to be a lot more sugary than that. I wonder if the, I wonder what the actual sugar content is. Let's have a look on the pack. So, sugar. 
yeah, it's only 0.7 grams of sugar per 100 mil. So that's like if we took a litre of water and put about a teaspoonful of sugar in it. So not sugary really at all. Kind of reminiscent of coconut water, although less sweet and obviously not nutty, but similar sort of vibe to it, I would say. So yeah, that's quite pleasant, quite refreshing. That was £1.85, so it's not something I would habitually drink, because essentially I've just paid £1.85 for something that came straight out of a tree and is not that different to what I can get straight out of a tap. But an interesting experience nonetheless. Yeah, it reminds me of the smell of that birch timber when I was carving my picnic bowl. So, yeah, I think that's quite interesting. I'm glad I tried that. I don't think I'll be buying it very often, but I'm glad I did try that. So that is tapped birch water. Weird stuff in a can on Atomic Shrimp. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.